Let's take a look at what's new in the recently updated Motorola Ready4 feature, now called Smart Connect. I always thought Ready4 sounded a bit awkward, but Smart Connect sounds a bit generic too. There's an article released in February of this year stating that they planned on updating and introducing new features to Ready4. The website says the new features include cross control, which lets users seamlessly use a single mouse and keyboard for your phone and Windows desktop. Swipe to stream lets you continue what you're watching or listening to on your PC or tablet. Share Hub lets you share files across multiple devices by dragging and dropping. The rest of the features are just carryovers like the app streaming, smart clipboard, instant hotspot, webcam, and mobile desktop. It does say at the end of the article that some of these features are only available on compatible Lenovo desktops and tablets. The current update I have is 7.0.0.012.0. The only new feature I can see is the cross control and the share hub. The screen share feature has been renamed to phone on PC and gives you the option to automatically start this activity whenever two devices see each other on the network and your phone is unlocked. Other than that, there's now a switchable dark theme. You now have the option to sync up your phone's actual wallpaper to display on your represented device in the Smart Connect app. It even updates in real time. Kind of a cool gimmick. Let's check out Cross Control. This lets you use the keyboard and mouse you use on your desktop on your phone seamlessly. Think of it as using your phone as an extension of your monitor. From this setting, you can position your phone anywhere relative to the monitor. If you choose to turn on the position bar, you'll get a bar on the edge of your monitor indicating where the area to move the mouse into the phone screen is. You can drag this bar on your desktop to reposition it or the phone image in the Smart Connect app. Now the mouse and keyboard are active on your phone. Notice that when I move the mouse to the left side of the desktop, it seamlessly flows over to my phone. Now, on the right side, also on the bottom, but you cannot position it on the top. You can fully interact with your phone using the mouse and keyboard. For the new Share Hub feature, the Share Hub, when activated, creates a small floating bar on your desktop and you can drag and drop files from there. These files will be visible from your paired devices that also have this activated. Here on my paired Think phone, I can see this text document that was shared from my laptop. However, on my desktop that's also synced through Smart Connect to the Think phone, the file does not show up. If I drag a PDF file from my desktop to the Share Hub, the Think phone sees it, but not the laptop. All three of these have ShareHub activated and linked to the ThinkPhone. I later figured out that this was because each of my devices was linked locally with the QR code as before. But if you log in with a Lenovo ID on each Smart Connect device, all the files will sync. Logging in also automatically syncs every device without the need for you to manually add it in. There are also some files that I could not share. For example, when I dragged a bitmap file to the share hub, it crashed it, but a JPEG was fine. If I edit this JPEG on the laptop side, the phone automatically gets the updated version. However, there was no way to edit the shared copy on the phone side. Text editing, however, was possible. I can update the simple text file on the laptop and the phone gets the update. 
And if I update it on the phone, the laptop sees the update. On the phone side, there's no drag and drop as it doesn't seem to flow with the way Android handles files. Instead, you get a share hub option when you click on the share option. As for the phone on PC, there's now an option that says to automatically open up a virtual phone window once your phone and desktop see each other, given that the phone is unlocked. This would make it very convenient to just go to your desk, turn on your desktop, and have a virtual phone window to interact with automatically. I can see a use case for this. There's a minor update to the file share between connected devices. Now you can select folders from your PC that will be visible and accessible on your phone. One thing I've noticed is that the virtual phone and app streaming windows no longer snap to Windows desktop sides as before. You can still maximize or resize it manually, but I'd like to be able to snap it to the side. I'm using Windows 10 and I don't have Windows 11 to try this out. If you have Windows 11 and can snap your virtual phone or app streaming window to preset locations, let me know in the comments. As far as tablet support, my generic Android 13 tablet was only able to download Ready for Assistant. However, this feature hasn't been updated at the time I'm making this video and hopefully this will be updated in the future or maybe Lenovo is saving this for one of their own tablets. I find this update to be incremental. If you have use cases for the share hub or the cross control, it would be worth the upgrade.